Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create 3D shapes in PowerPoint 2016. Here are a few examples of basic 2D shapes that I converted into 3D shapes. So let me show you how. So I have PowerPoint 2016 open here with a blank slide. Let's start by inserting a rectangle. I'll go to the Insert tab. And under Shapes, I'll choose this rectangle with rounded corners and I'll draw it on the slide like so. I'll right click on the shape and choose Format Shape. And you'll see this right side panel here. Under Fill, I'm just going to change the transparency right here. And in the Format tab up top, under Shape Fill, I'm going to choose a blue color. And under Shape Outline, I'll choose a red color. Next, in this right side panel, in the Effects tab, I'll go to 3D Format. And I'll apply a rounded bevel for the top and bottom. And for the depth, I'll change this value to 75. I'll close this section. And I'll drop down the 3D rotation section. And under presets, you will find many presets. I'll choose this first one. And as you can see, it changes the shape into a 3D shape. You can also manually rotate the shape. So let me just reset this preset. You'll notice down below here, you've got the X, Y, and Z rotation. And you can manually rotate the shape using these buttons here. Like so. Let me close this section. And once again, open the 3D format section. And if I scroll down to the bottom, on the lighting, you will find many presets. I will use this one right here. And as you can see, it looks a bit different. Now, if you want this full 3D shape to be one color, let's just say blue, you can go to the Format tab right up top. And under Shape Outline, you can choose the same blue color. If you want to change this shape into, let's just say, a circle, Again, under the Format tab, and under the Edit Shape section, you can choose whatever shape you want. Let me choose the circle. As you can see, this circular shape looks like a puck. Now, if you want to create a sphere instead, the settings are a bit different. So let's go to the Size and Position tab, which is right here. And I'll drop down the size section. So first of all, we need to determine the size of the circle. So currently, as you can see, the height and width is 3.33. So I'd like to change this to 4 and 4. But first, I'm just going to lock this aspect ratio by checking this box. And then I'm going to change this 3.33 to 4. And automatically, the width will also change. Next, let's go to the Effects tab. And under the 3D format, we need to change the width and the height for both the top and bottom bevel. Now, in order to determine the bevel height and width, we need to do some math. So earlier, we determined that the size of the circle is 4 inches. So we need to essentially multiply 4 by 36, and that equals 144. So we need to enter 144 for both the width and the height for the top and bottom bevels. So I'm going to change that right now. So as you can see, the shape has changed now. But obviously, this is not a sphere. So what we need to do is, under the depth right here, we need to reset the 75 to 0. 
And as you can see now, it's a perfect 3D sphere. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. Check this video to learn how to morph 3D shapes in PowerPoint. And thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.